2005 Ford Excursion with the 6.0. It's got a crank no start. So what I got pulled up here, I'll pull up some data. Let's just read codes first, continuous memory. See what we got. So our code is a P229160 injector, ICP, injector control pressure too low, engine cranking. So what I wanna look for is I wanna look for some live data while I crank it. All right, if you got some PIDs, parameter IDs pulled up, Thickum should be 48 volts. If it drops below like 45, then we're gonna have a thickum issue. Injector control pressure, PSI. Injector control pressure desired. So if this desires a thousand, this needs to match, which I think is where our problem is. Injector control pressure regulator, 14 and 85%. You should never see 14 or 85. That's uh, basically pulse width modulated. Full field, of, not full field effect, I guess would be pulse width modulated uh, percentage wise. And synchronization should go to yes. So we we'll go ahead and crank it here. Also, I'm looking for my oil pressure, my low oil pump pressure gauge to make sure I have low oil pressure from the engine. Because you have an engine oil pump and then you have a high pressure oil pump, which is the H-POP, high pressure oil pump. And then you have a normal fuel pump on the frame rail on these that pumps it up to the H-POP. The H-POP pressurizes it to get up to thousands of PS, pounds of PSI, depending on what the computer wants from the FICM. Fuel injector control modules to fix them to atomize that fuel. So we go ahead and crank it. Okay, my assistant here is going to crank it until I tell him to stop. Go ahead and crank. So if you look, we want a thousand and eight, but we're only getting four hundred. The injector control pressure regulator is eighty-five percent. It means it's closing all the way to force oil and going through. Fix them's good. Below 42, not 45, it's like 42. Battery voltage is a little weak. We're good. Synchronization went to yes. And we have oil pressure up there. We did. So I believe it could be a dummy plug issue leaking down or it could be an H-pop high pressure oil pump. So now what we're gonna do is do some more checks on the engine. All right, so now we're up here on the passenger head. Injector control pressure later. Injector control pressure regulator. Pop this off. I would have checked all the wiring tag or do this uh, three wire sensor. I'm gonna pop this off, hook up this tool, apply air to it, and we should, if the dummy plugs are leaking, we'll hear air leaking under you know the passenger driver's valve cover. Alright, so I got the scan tool on, active test injector control pressure regulator. It's duty cycle, I got it all the way up. So it's gonna request most pressure. I got the uh, tube hooked up to the air compressor and I'm compressing air into this blow up the oil through the uh, under the valve covers through the high pressure oil system. I do hear a little bit leak right now because our O-ring, we're gonna have to fix that and redo this check. And what we're looking for, or listening for, is air leaking on the driver passenger side. And that'll tell us how dummy plugs are leaking. So we fixed our O-ring, it got the injector control pressure up, so it's full of duty psycho. Um, fixed our O-ring leak, and if you come up here and listen, you can see this oil filter, see so if you can hear that in the video. Maybe now I can turn more air pressure up, but it is leaking in there. I believe we have some dummy plugs that are leaking. Alrighty, we're doing some more checks. We got this side, the breather off, so we can listen for air on the driver and passenger. Now, best way to do this is probably with the stethoscope to listen if you can hear them leaking. All right, so we have a lot of leaking going on over on this side. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this valve cover and uh, replace all rings in the dummy plugs. And we may have to pull the driver's side too, but I did, when I talked earlier for the scan tool data, the thickum, it's gotta be, 45 volts or more and it dropped a little bit below 45 we had a little bit of a weak battery too so that's a, a factor in it but we redid some checks we're above 45 thickums good thickum states good um, and it's got to get to 500 psi in order for this pressure high pressure oil has got to get to minimum 500 for the injectors to open so we're gonna have to go ahead and pull the passenger valve cover and uh, replace the bad dummy plug o-rings 
and uh, we'll just uh, go from there. So there should be another part of this video.